Hi folks, it's Robin Clayton here with another episode of Zodiac at the Farm. It's so great to have you back with me on my channel. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make this hot poppin' red poppy seed. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, so stay with me because I'm gonna give you the tips from A to Z on how to create this beautiful flower. Okay, thank you. Hey folks, okay, so the um, materials that you're gonna need to complete this project are gonna be, you're gonna actually have to have your plates pre-assembled. Um, you're gonna need uh, some, you know, make sure that you have something um, that you absolutely love, okay? So it may take you a little bit of time, but just something that you really love that you know will absolutely be so beautiful, um, either in your house or in your garden. So once you, once you have your materials, uh, your actual dishes together, you're then uh, going to need to have some type of a hook, all right, to, um, to actually hang the flower with. I've got several different kinds of hooks and it's completely optional. Um, I, I pick up different kinds of hooks all the time, uh, especially based on the theme that I'm gonna be using for my, my flower. Um, you're also going to need um, your toggle bolts uh, and your screw, so make sure you have those. You're gonna need a drill. You are also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, you're going to need uh, your gloves and also your um, protective eyewear. And uh, this is what I'm using on the back of, of my plates um, to mount them on the stick. That's completely optional. These are furniture covers. You can get them um, at your local hardware store. Uh, and then just all the creativity that you can um, muster uh, with regards to uh, your dishes. So stay with me. Um, now that you have all the tools, let's go and go ahead and start putting our flower together, okay? Hey folks, okay, let's go ahead and get started on creating this, uh, this flower. So as you see, I have um, my flower here itself. I've already pre-drilled the hole for this. All right, and then I have my orb, and I have my hook, all right, with, with the bolt. I've got my uh, rubber washer. I've got my second rubber washer, and I've got my toggle that will be uh, screwed into the back of this screw through the flower, all right? So these are the supplies that I'm using. Once again, we've got our plates already pre-assembled, ready to go, all right? And then I've got my hook, my screw for my toggle, my actual toggle, and my two washers, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over, and I'm gonna go ahead and assign my rubber washer, all right? And that is to prevent um, you know, the glass from breaking in any fashion. And it's also to keep the, um, the everything aligned as it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna take my screw and I'm sticking it straight through, straight through here. Actually, I'm sorry, I've gotta pull that back out. I've gotta put my hook first, my washer, my hook that I'm gonna hang the flower with, and then I'm taking my screw and I'm pushing it straight through, okay? this down so I can use both of my hands. Straight through there, straight through here, straight through here, and then turn it over, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is put my washer in, okay? And then I've got my toggle. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start the toggle just like that. everybody's doing great today. Uh, it is Friday morning, the 6th and of December 2019. For some reason this little thing keeps piping over here so I've got adjust it. Stick it back on here. Okay, and now I've got 
get started. Just twist it just like that. Okay. Make sure you have your screwdriver available, which is right here. And now that I've got the toggle uh, ready, I'm gonna go ahead and pinch it, all right? And then there's the hole in my orb. And I'm just gonna go ahead and push it straight through. Just like that. Okay, so you can see that it's actually taken the toggle. Then I'm gonna carefully turn this over, okay? Just like this. And I'm gonna take my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm just going to hold the ball on the back side. And it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Always remember that. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So uh, it's cooler here in Southwest Florida this week, which I love. Um, it's funny though, because there's um, a bit of a hypocrisy about it because I've been waiting all summer because it gets so hot and humid down here in Southwest Florida. I've been waiting for the cold and now it's been actually a little bit too cold for me not to want to go outside, which is absolutely ridiculous because I've been waiting that long for that to happen. So anyways, but it is beautiful out and uh, it should warm up this afternoon. turning it. Let's turn it over and see how that's going. Okay. All right. So there we go. Here's the back of it. It's nicely tightened. Turn it back over here. And I've got a beautiful poppy flower. Isn't that amazing? I just think that's amazing. Now remember, um, the, the way that I mount this is I put a hole in this, uh, in this, this is actually a uh, foot cover for uh, chairs or whatever. Um, and it's, it works fabulous for securing my plates uh, to the stand. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right on here and then I'm going to take my flower, turn it over, and I'm going to go ahead and put the hook straight through. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that's sitting there and then I'm going to attach it to finished poppy seed piece of glass art and I actually love it so much it's so beautiful it gives a lot of pop and let me take it off okay so I've got a real small stand actually you know it's a it's considered a small a standard or small smaller stand for smaller items to display all right, so then I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to go ahead and take this off because I'm not going to be using it. I'm just going to go on the stand. The one thing that I do like about the hook with the um, stand is that this hook actually secures itself even further on the stand. All right, so let's, let's take this off like this. I've got that secured like that. There we go. All right, there's my poppy seed flower. It's a beautiful uh, gold and black orb uh, with a poppy seed flower. When I turn it around, see how the hook actually sits directly on the stand, giving it um, definitely more support for the presentation. All right, so it sits perfectly on the stand. And let me show it to you like that. Okay, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, 
All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day, bye-bye. Okay, so we have completed our beautiful poppy seed flower. It is an absolutely gorgeous red, um, beautiful addition uh, to my garden, and I'm going to actually put this out there today. Uh, but I do uh, want to let everyone know uh, that if you did in fact enjoy this video and got something out of it, pl please hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button, just so that I know that you're out there and that you're enjoying these particular videos and you're getting something out of the content. Um, it just makes things just easier for me that I know that I'm getting out there to you and that you're actually enjoying the content that I'm making. Um, also, if you're interested in purchasing any of these flowers, um, because I honestly don't keep all of them, uh, you can um, purchase them at Etsy.com under Robin Clayton, uh, Zodi C Glass Shop. Uh, and you can also uh, reach me at Zodi C at the farm if you have any questions regarding this video or any, any other questions that you may have about my processes with regards to putting these flowers together. Okay, so uh, we're done here today. Uh, I hope you have a good week and uh, I look forward to seeing you here again at Zodi C at the farm. Okay, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.